I was tired of editing for hours and then seeing only $30 on my PayPal. I didn't want to be noob editor anymore. And in just seven days, I leveled up my editing skills, which also lead to insane results on this channel with just five videos. I will show you the exact system that I use. And if you don't want to waste weeks, Watch till the end, I will tell you everything I learned in my editing journey in this video. Literally everything. From visuals to sound design, captions, either spend months or just a few minutes, your choice. Step 1. Better editing software. If the game that you play bugs, do you upgrade your PC or quit playing the game? In this case, you better quit playing the game and go back to editing. Jokes aside, number one thing that will either grow or break your editing career is your editing software. I am not talking here about Premiere Pro versus Final Cut Pro, because both are professional softwares. I am talking about difference in CapCut and After Effects, for example. Don't get me wrong here, CapCut is really good software, and I use it to edit most of my shorts, but there are things that After Effects has which you won't find in CapCut, like creating custom animations which I will talk about later, and many more things. Everything that you imagine can be done in After Effects 97% of the time. Yeah, I just made that up because there is nothing that you can't do in After Effects. Even this video you are watching now is made in After Effects like all other videos on my channel. Anyways, both softwares do their own job. I edited for a few months on CapCut. It is the best beginner software in my opinion. And trust me, you will get scared when you open After Effects or Premiere Pro for the first time. But that is completely normal. Bro, this looks so complicated. I don't think I am able to learn it. You don't have to worry about learning After Effects on your own. I made a completely free After Effects training just for you. Just go down in the description so you can watch it after this video. By the way, I use my real voice there. Step 2. Just do it. You know, I was just high school student trying to make more money with editing, but it didn't really work. I also started many YouTube channels, but it didn't work also. Yeah, it's cool to work with higher paying clients, and it's cool to have successful YouTube channel, but that was an easy task. I knew something had to change, so I started creating a videos in better software. Just start creating the video for your portfolio. You can try to recreate some videos of some popular channels that will help if someone wants specific style of editing, which happens more often than not. Or start working on your new video for your channel. Oh, what is this? Another After Effects error? What, I can't import .mov file? I'm not worried, I'll just use Uniconverter to convert the file to mp4. What, I can even upscale it to 8k? No way, let me try it. It did pretty good job. But I don't want my project to take one terabyte of my hard drive. Bro, why are you worried? Just use Uniconverter Compressor to lower the file size. Quality stays almost the same, don't worry. Just stay within the green range. But what if the video quality is so bad? I don't want to upscale it to lose even more quality. That's not a problem, bro. They also have AI Enhancer that enhances the quality of your videos. You can use General Denway's model or Frame Interpolation if you want to add more frames. But I'll try General Denway's model. It uses AI to make the frame of the video better. See for yourself. However, editing is just one step in the process of making video for YouTube channel, so I explained how I got monetized fast in this video. Trust me, if I did it as 16 years old kid, anyone can do it. But how do you actually learn new software? This leads me to step three. Step three, SFIA method. Don't get confused by these letters. It means search for it and apply method. This is the exact method that I used to learn full After Effects in just seven days, and you can apply it for any software literally. It doesn't even have to be related to the editing. So, how it works? Well, I opened After Effects, and first thing I searched was how to start new project in After Effects. There are a bunch of videos explaining just that, so I learned how to do that in less than two minutes. Next, I learned the user interface with some 10 minute video, but you don't have to waste time finding those videos because I included everything in After Effects free training. Link in the description. All you need for this is a little bit creativity so you can get the idea of what you want to apply. But don't worry, the more you edit, more ideas you will get. Also, for your first project, I suggest that you make it as complicated as you can. So later easier projects will be much easier. Test different effects on layers, try to figure out what they do, etc. But you don't even have to do it yourself because real video starts now. I will show you everything that I learned in the last year actively editing, so you can avoid mistakes as much as possible and progress much faster. You can still test what you want. Grab a pen and paper in three, two, one. Too late. Let's make this graph better. Stock footage. Short answer to this, avoid it as much as possible. Stock footage is for rookies, and that is one of the things that differentiates rookie from professional. I still use stock footage sometimes, but it's really rare situation. But what should I do? Don't worry, we are going right into that topic. Let me introduce you to motion graphics. 
If you know how to make motion graphics, your creativity becomes infinite. Trust me, you can create anything you want visually without having to use stock video, and you can see that I use it a lot in my videos. That is the main thing, in my opinion, that separates professional softwares from beginner's ones. There are, of course, many more differences, but this one is the most important for me. That is what clients love, and viewers also, uniqueness. If they watched some lower quality videos, they can probably see if some stock video repeats in yours too. If you want to use stock videos, just use some premium stock library for those reasons. So, how do you actually create those cool animations and stuff like that? I'll show you this in After Effects because that is the only software that I used. You'll need Pen Tool, pick a color of the stroke here, and just click two times anywhere on the screen. You see, you created a line. Want to make it curved? Hold left click and move your mouse to curve it. But these lines are kind of short. I want to have longer line. Just keep clicking on the screen and keep adjusting your line until you are satisfied. Congratulations, but you still did absolutely nothing. It isn't animated. If you want to animate this, you need to use trim paths. I know it is confusing, but you will get it in a moment. Drop this menu down, click on add, and choose trim paths. Now, if you want to make animation of this line drawing, put two keyframes on the end paragraph. First should be on 0% and second one should be on 100%. Boom, you made your first animation. But wait, this animation doesn't look satisfying, does it? To make it better, put Easy Easing by selecting your keyframes and pressing F9. I see that you are confused. Easy Ease makes the animation speed up and then slows down. You can change the peak of the animation by going on this graph editor, but you will probably see Value Graph instead of Speed Graph. Click on this button right here to show Speed Graph, and you can manipulate any of these points to change how your animations acts between two keyframes. I usually like it to start faster and slow down longer, Boom! Now you have even better animation, but it can always be better. You can make your animation feel alive by adding motion blur. You can already tell what is it from the name. It adds blur to the motion. Just click on this little button right there, and you have motion blur now too. But it can be even better. Add glow effect or drop shadow effect to the layer. I'll add two more lines with the same process, and let's see how final animation looks like. Just like that, you created your first animation, but that's the simplest animation possible. Go down to the link in the description and check the free training after this video. We'll be creating even better animations than this. All right, it's time to go to the next step. Captions. Now that you know how you can create any animation that you want, you will avoid putting captions when you run out of ideas. Captions aren't really complicated step. I put them almost over the whole video, but you can do it as you want. Choose font that fits your video, don't make it too big, and add shadow. Simple. When you watch a movie, do you watch only one scene or you watch full movie? I watch only few scenes if movie is boring, and viewers probably do the same with your videos. You need to look at your video like a movie. Every scene is connected really well with the next scene, and your video should be the same. There is something called video pace, and it's the speed of your video. Your video pace can't be flatlined. That will be boring. You must have slower and faster parts of the video. Just take a look at the movies. Is the whole movie only action, or there are parts in the middle that connect both stories? That brings me to the final chapter, sound design. I can't stress enough how many people overlook this. Sound design design is what makes emotion for your video because it is a known fact that music can change your mood really fast. When you are listening to rock music, you don't want to sleep, right? It's time to start Last Dance. Sound Effects if you want to ruin your video, just add as much sound effects as you can. Add whooshes every two seconds and just see how ruined your video is. When I was starting out, I believed that that more sound effects I put, better video I get, but that changed. I use sound effects less often because I replace them with what I call them, cookie for the rookie. This cookie will make your videos much better if you implement it right. There are three cookies that you can use, risers, impacts, and drums. Risers add intensity to your action, just like this. You can place impact sound right after riser to make a motion of relief, and drums are usually used to add ambience to your video, just like this. You got it, but still, your video is not done. Something still falls out. What do you think it is? Captions? No, captions are the easiest part. It's music. Split your video in sections, just like movie is split in scenes. Each section needs to have different music depending on the emotion you want to trigger. In some intense sections, I use fast music, or for example, in mysterious sections, I used mysterious music. You can connect two sections by adding impact sound and short pause between them, just like I do in most of my videos. If you want to make money doing something that you love, sign up for the Motion Graphics Workshop here. Link is in the description for all informations.